Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today we have got some Pohanger mowers on the 64.99. Big thank you to Pohanger and McCullough Machinery for bringing them down for us to demo and they are here. Raymond from Pohanger is here going to give us a few pointers on the mower, how it works in Everton. So yeah, thanks Phil. I suppose firstly big thanks to McCullough Farm Machinery, the local Pohanger dealer um, for supplying these machines. Uh, we've been set up here now on the tractor. The front mo uh, the front mower, the 301 Alpha Motion Pro Series, has been launched in 2019. Um, this is the next generation mower from the previous model, which is the 301 Alpha Motion. Few new features on the machine. Flotation is still the same. We've incorporated it. We've done away with the A-frame carrier on the front and incorporated it into just a linkage machine. Um, the styling of the panel has changed slightly. We've integrated a grease bank on top of the machine. So rather than climbing in underneath your machine to grease the critical uh, pivot points, it's all incorporated on top of the machine. So it's very easy to, to work with and maintain. Um, our front cover has also changed slightly. So this can be locked up if you're more and more del uh, delicate crops. And also it has a fold back feature goes back there more and it's easy to access the cutter bar for changing blades or carrying out maintenance. I suppose a couple of key features with the cutter bar, um, unique to the particular design, we have the quick release blades. What's a little bit different with these as opposed to what others would be used to, the blade is actually fixed once it's, once it's in place, but it will still allow to move if it hits a foreign object, it'll still kick out of the way and kick back out at, um, at the desired speed. Uh, key benefits of this, I suppose, is um, the starting and stopping off your mower. So every time you start up and stop your mower, it's consistent. There's no slapping. Your blade isn't turning 360 degrees, and possibly with, a, with your 12 to 15 degree angle on your blade, your blade isn't coming in contact with the back of your disc. So you're not damaging the side of the blade that's not used. Another key feature of the of the disc is how the blade is held in so the blade is held in on an 18 millimeter stud with 15 with 20 millimeter distance and your spring loader plate that locks your blade up into place is 20 mil in diameter so it actually comes over the blade and locks the blade up against the bottom of the disc so this allows for a travel of 20 millimeters before your blade will come out as opposed if the stub is on the spring loaded plate, you're only left with the thickness of the blade before the blade may come out if you, if you hit a foreign object. And the design of the cutter bar, so it's a fully welded bed, top serviceable. So if you take off your disc, you can take out each individual module, and then your idler gears in between is all top serviceable by removing your bolts and bringing them out through your top modules. Unique to Pottinger is the the drive line in the machine so as opposed to having 1.5 teeth in contact with the machine throughout your whole bed the gearing system there's three gear there's three teeth in contact with each gear throughout the whole drive line which allows for maximum durability smoother running and well, you're less likely to lose it lose a tooth you're less likely to yeah. lose a tooth i suppose the whole design of it is when you have 1.5 teeth in contact and you have three mil you have double the, the force, so it, you're virtually eliminating the chance of ever breaking a tooth in your bed. What will happen is your disc will shear before a tooth will ever break. So the drive line, so it's a water child drive line right from your tractor, right through to your um, angular gearbox, out to your cutter bar, and on your opposite side, out your bed drive. So the conditioners on all part of your machines are belt driven. The reason why we choose belt driven over gearbox driven, it's easier driven, it's a smoother drive line, and in case of hitting a foreign object, your belts will release, your yeah. belts will give. Belts is very easy to replace. Uh, gearboxes can be that bit more expensive. Yeah. So if we look at the flotation system, the flotation system is the same with Alpha Motion. Um, so you got 14 degrees movement to left to right and eight degrees movement forward and back. So it's almost like a 3D type mo uh, movement, which will, yeah, enhance the ground hugging capabilities of the machine and increase the uh, forage quality. There's some looking weapon, so it is now. 
Looks a heck of a lot better than the, the John Deere hanging out the back of it. Yeah. So the back mower is a Novacat 302. What the Novacat means, it's center mounted, center pivoted. 302 means three meter cutting width. So it's a 10 foot bed. You see on the mower, ED or extra dry, that's your conditioner. So a couple of features on the, on the rear 302 ED. So it's hydraulic pressure which controls the flotation of your bed on the ground. Typically we run the bed at one, about 100 bar pressure, which equates to about 180 kg of more bed weight, more bed on the ground. So the more you increase your hydraulic pressure, the lighter the more gets. The more you decrease, the heavier the more gets on the ground. Um, this is all fully controlled via your spool valve and your, 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 your gauge here on the machine. I suppose, again, unique to the Pottinger Nova Cat machine, we have our hydraulic lower linkage, which comes standard on all 302 ED machines. Um, the benefit of this hydraulic lower linkage is taking on and off the machine. Your machine can sometimes um, kick to the left-hand side. With the hydraulic lower linkage, it's very easy to attach to the tractor and take off the tractor. Again, when you go into the field, you fold your machine down. A lot of pressure is generally on your right-hand side of your link arm. With this system here, you can lower or raise your hydraulic lower linkage to balance your weight throughout your three-point linkage on your tractor. Same bed, conditioner's the same. Everything on this end of the thing is the same. So if you so had front and side, your pods are the same, your blades are the same, yeah. your... Yeah, conditioner tines, everything's exactly the same. same. These your headstocks. Belts, not... Belts are the same, yeah. Everything's yeah. the same. Yeah. Everything's the same, so ah. if you have bits for your front more, you have yeah, bits for your back more. Absolutely. Both machines are compatible with spare parts, with the majority of spare parts. Yeah. Oh, some some looking weapon now. So it does look fierce well on, on, on the 64.99. Fierce well. All we need now is a bit of dry weather and a bit of grass. As you can tell, it's raining. That's why it's half under the covers. It had to put new it had to put knives on it. That's how new it is. Hasn't been used. Has it caught hand? No. No. Not even the back more. Brand new, no. So this, jeez, jeez, I feel lucky now. I get the first one to knock a bit of grass with it. Huh? Don't think I've ever got to use a new mower before. Jeez, I can't, I can't wait now. So hopefully now tomorrow we'll go start knocking our own. And I'll probably draw drone footage in the very end. Just a bit of a teaser of what is to come. So big thank you to Pottinger, Ireland and McAuliffe Machinery for dropping it down to us. Letting us get to use it because I just... Shiny metal, just new shiny metals. Big smile in my head now for the rest of the day. So, cannot be it. But anyways, I think nothing else to say on it. Um, so yeah, if you're interested, you want to find out more about the Pottinger system, we're going to be using this. We might get two or three videos. It's going to be left with us for, and for us, we get a few jobs done with it. But just, just look at it. It's fucking awesome. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, if you're interested in learning more about them, there'll be links in the description down below for Pawhunter and for McCullough Machinery. So you can head down there if you want to learn more about it. And stay tuned because hopefully the next video is this going to be knocking a bit of grass and there'll be a bit of drone fudge at the end just to leave this one a little bit more interesting. But anyways, I think that is it from us. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. That is it from me. Good luck.